Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss visual activities. These can help children who have visual seeking behavior in autism and also children who find it difficult to focus on an activity and get distracted easily. We are going to start with our first activity of the day which is torch activity. Now one could say that the child prefers to shine the torch in their eyes rather than do anything with it. Well, let's create a game. Shine the torch on a piece of paper. Bring it close so that the child can see how the reflection moves. Where it lands, there is a reddish glow. Let's try to color around. This way you don't have to create boundaries for the child for coloring and they know wherever the red glow is, they just have to color over it. Another torch activity could be use of different colors on a paper and trying to reflect torch light on it. This is red, purple, brown, blue and green. A moving torch concept can be used where different parts of a picture can be reflected like the leaves, bird, treehouse, mats of different colors to identify red, orange, blue. But make sure your child does not have issues in the darkness. Torch on and off in different locations in the room can also be used to attract a child in the darkness. Shining torch in the eyes could be a problem area for many parents. So what to do? Use of such colored sheets through which the child can try to reflect the light. It will look funny in different locations and the child will enjoy it more. These kind of activities will make sure that the child does not get distracted by spinning objects because they are trying to create patterns. Different colors can be used to grab their attention. Next category of activities could be sand activities. You can use different colors like I've used orange and green. Pouring them on a sheet of paper. Trying to create designs in them. Writing alphabets in them. Using sand for pouring because it appears colorful and the best activity is applying glue stick in a pattern, pouring sand over it to see a pattern or a design. Now what to do with all this sand that I have poured? Let's try to collect it, fold it and drop it back in the box without spilling. In this way, you also teach your child eye-hand coordination. Using different colored paints to make patterns or different kind of dots not only improves the visual seeking behavior but also helps if your child has any kind of touch related issues. If you think about it, painting is an interesting activity for the recognition of face parts. For example, if you try to say, where are my cheeks? Where is my forehead? Where is my chin? The child will learn better. If your child is interested in spinning objects, then provide them with alternatives. For example, any circular object before it falls. So for how long can they spin it? Secondly, they can try to play games with frisbees where they, it rotates and they enjoy watching it. But what if your child always wants to watch spinning wheels of a car toy or cars in general? Well, a simple idea is take some Play-Doh, apply it on the wheel in such a way so that the wheel does not rotate and then the game becomes, what's wrong with the tire? Let them figure it out. Let them pull all the Play-Doh out and then they can do it again. And then you can provide it with the next car and so on. You might complain that your child is just not interested in looking at books. They get distracted very easily. Then try to show them books with a single picture on a page. For example, with shapes, heart. And also 
Another technique is if you are showing them one toy like a ball, try to show a real life picture with it so that they understand that these two look the same. Once you believe that a child has started to recognize objects a bit, you show them two objects like this ball and a toy car and then you show the real life object. Can they identify which one of these is the ball? So the child can either point to it. If you think pointing is not there, give them something that they can tap on the picture with. Dropping objects like beads in a container is another fun game. First they can start with one at a time. Then they can pick up a number of them and drop and see if any of them goes out of the box. Don't you think your child is really going to run after all these bubbles that I have formed? Yes, bubble game is excellent. You can use bubble or you can even use thick foam where the child runs after them, tries to follow it. That is also a very good visual tracking game and improves your child's visual seeking behavior. Try to use these activities at home to reduce your child's visual seeking behavior, reduce their distractibility and improve their attention towards activities. Please leave a like if you found this video informative. Subscribe to the channel if you are interested in videos like this. You can check out my playlists and also ring the bell icon whenever my video is out every week. We will meet again soon.